All right. Uh, my name is Melinda Mack, and this is Paul Williams, and we're here to tell you about our project, Move Learning. So last year at Big Ideas, we had the challenge of figuring out a really creative way to achieve universal competency in basic literacy and math skills. And we thought Casey, a middle school teacher from Louisiana, really explained it the best way possible. Oh, there's no volume. We have no pipe cleaners. We have clean, sleek lines for a clean, sleek idea. Student-centered, kinesthetic, really fun and cheap. And so when we got into really thinking about how to do this, we realized that the actual challenge wasn't necessarily that, you know, that people didn't want to do this. It was that teachers are really swamped. Teachers are super busy. They're really, really engaged with the common core learning standards these days. And in addition to that, they're really struggling to find resources that are common core aligned. So if you're a teacher in the room and all you do is talk about common core, can you clap? Yeah, there's a lot of Common Core going on these days. Additionally, we've learned that students are bored. They're not having fun in class anymore. And so that inspired us to think back to when learning was fun. And I urge all of you to take a second to think about the moment that you enjoyed school the most. And I bet it was when learning felt like play. And so how do we take that concept of making learning feel like play? Remembering when we did hopscotch to count to 10, thinking about how we used candy to do proportions or to learn how to count and integrate that into a easy to use product or tool. So we had to take a step back. We had to figure out what this concept of kinesthetic learning was anyway. So we did our research. Um, we needed actual teacher involvement. We're not teachers. So we had a lot of great ideas, but we needed to get teachers to help us figure out how to actually make this work. We knew we had a potential base of 3 million teacher users. That's how many elementary and middle school teachers there are in the US. And then ultimately, we had to figure out if someone else had already had our brilliant idea. And so we did some research on competitors. And then finally, I think the most important for us was making sure that it was reputable so people would use it, that it was sustainable. And then most importantly, we could keep it free or really low cost for teachers. So we started moving, we moved into our pilot to create a home for the toolkit. And then also use the concept of uh, creating a Common Core aligned K to eight uh, curriculum. And we had our, then we really came up with our big idea through this process. And the big idea was move learning, making learning fun, which is teacher developed Common Core aligned lessons that incorporate this kinesthetic, kinesthetic activity, so movement. And it's scaffolded in a K to eight bundle. So you can see what happens before and what happens after your classes. So if you have more advanced students, you can sort of move through the process with them. Additionally, it corp incorporates a short demo video. So it goes back to, I think, what Karen Cater said last night, that you really need to have some sort of demonstration or be able to show teachers how to do the work really well. And then finally, again, keeping it simple and free. So the pilot that we actually engaged in was bringing together teachers and a kinesthetic expert to design these K-8 to Common Core aligned curricula. So we have that a curriculum done. And then we actually recruited teachers from Buffalo, New York to film their classes in action. And we used OER Commons as our free space to be able to do all of this work. And also created a site called Move Learning. So if you didn't go through OER Commons, you might be able to access it in a different way. So what did we learn? We did learn that schools are focused on the Common Core standards. And when we came to uh, recruit teachers, we realized that the teachers are uh, really interpreting the Common Core standards in their, in their own way. And trying to reach these teachers in their structured environment was very difficult. Uh, we also learned that teachers are naturally creative. Uh, they're already using these activities in the classroom. They're just not calling them kinesthetics. It's a very long word. I don't know how many of you guys can spell it. Probably. <laughs> so uh, they're using hand, words like hands-on, gamification, other activities, uh, free time. <laughs> so uh, we had to get through that. And our need for early adopters became a lot clearer. Okay, being able to spell out to these teachers and these administrators what the advantage of kinesthetics uh, was, was, uh, became ever so clear. And we needed these activities to become simpler. Okay, what we mean by simpler, um, we, ideally they, they should be coupled up with, uh, with the uh, project development. However, the teachers really were coming familiar with common core alignments. It was very difficult to bring that into a professional development environment. And again, video quality is a big challenge. And being able to overcome that was difficult. We, we did give the teachers cameras. We gave the teachers detailed instructions. But being able to 
get those awesome videos was very difficult. Okay, so we do believe we have a golden nugget of an idea. We know that there are seven million teachers. There's three million elementary and middle school teachers. So we're ready to collect this data and move on with the proof of concept. By this time next year, we wanna have 50 lessons accompanied by high quality videos. Uh, we believe we can take a page out of Road Trip Nation and StoryCorps and send film crews to these classrooms and film the Common Core in action. Okay, uh, from, then for, from that point, we'll be able to create a business uh, craft a business model, which will be able to spell out the production costs and staffing and be able to create Move Learning as a 50C3. And uh, being able to create our early adopter community is a big, is, is a big critical thing that we need to do to, for Move Learning to continue. So we hope, hopefully we can recruit from the audience. Uh, you guys can visit us on, on our web, movelearning.org. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to help us make this big idea a big reality. Thank you. Thank you.